now we have a reduction of alkyne into alkene and we are happy that alkene didn't go further into the reaction to form alkene alkene will be the final product so this is one of the method to produce alkene now this reaction has a effect has has a special name and the reaction comes with a name and they call it linlar this 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 palladium poison palladium is called linlar catalyst so they can write a reaction of any alkyne and they will give you then lar catalyst and hydrogen then you have to carry out partial reduction of this alkyne they can also call it as lillard reaction or lillard reduction of alkyne so know this name this name is important generally they might not write the re reagent they will just write it as a lillard reduction of alkyne or lillard catalyst so we have alkene from alkyne fine one more thing that you have to bear in mind now as as i talk as i, I as i told you before before starting the reaction alkene has restricted rotation across this double bond so and that that give rise to isomers now whenever we get a product or whenever we have alkene we have to talk about this isomer whether it's a cis isomer or it's a trans isomer now in this case what happens as i showed you the mechanism and you will be convinced by looking at the mechanism both hydrogen comes from the same side now when the both hydrogen comes from the same side or in any reaction when a reagent comes from the same side it's called and it's it gets added on a substrate it's it's called syn addition now it's called syn addition now this is a syn addition and this syn addition will give rise to a cis isomer of this alkene because when both the hydrogen comes from the same side it gets added on the carbon from the same side so when we have a alkene although we haven't shown the orientation of hydrogen and alkyl but when we have a alkene obviously obviously both the hydrogens has to be on the same side of this pi bond right because prior to addition they were coming from the same side they get all added on a pi bond and after addition they they got to be on the same side so this linlard catalyst catalyst this reduction using linlard catalyst is a syn addition and this syn addition gives us give rise to alkene that is a cis alkene so these two things we have to bear in mind fine so we have alkene and that's a cis alkene okay okay now suppose i give you a small problem you do reduction on a s2 pd barium sulfate this is a way of writing of this reaction now barium sulfate is poisoning that palladium you have a and that re this reaction is giving product which is styrene now you have to find a now in order to find a you need to know what is styrene and i think i have told you before but never mind this is styrene it's a important compound is going to appear over and over again throughout the syllabus so better know this compound here itself this is styrene now you have a styrene you know the structure now look whenever you have this kind of reactions which are not in very very extreme condition and clearly they are not in very very extreme condition we don't have any reaction on this very stable aromatic ring so whatever the reaction has to occur that has to be outside the aromatic ring so aromatic ring will remain as it is in a as well because the in the reaction cannot change aromatic ring so this will remain in a here as well now we have a double bond the, now a got to have a triple bond and there is no other position possible so you don't have to think much this will be the compound a fine fine so the one reaction and one method of preparation of alkene is over now there is another kind of reduction of alkene this one was syn reduction a syn addition we can have anti addition right let's see what this is 
Suppose we have an alkyne and I add sodium and liquid ammonia. Now what will happen is we will have an alkene but uh, let us let's look at the reagent and as I have told you to, to think this is an alkyne and uh, this alkyne is quite stable this is not going to initiate the reaction. For the first thing to write the mechanism is you have to identify the reagent that would initiate the reaction. The reagent that will be unstable that would initiate the reaction. Liquid ammonia is okay, it's, it's stable, thermodynamically stable, there will be hydrogen bonding among, among ammonia. That is not going to initiate the reaction. You have an active metal, sodium, and sodium does nothing but lose electron this will lose electron and it will keep losing electron and when it loses electron someone has to gain electron electronic charge can't keep on increasing exorbitantly in the system now this is losing electron someone has to gain electron now based upon the study we have done up till now the carbon which is attached to a leaving group that gains electron suppose carbon is attached to chlorine then this carbon will gain electron because when it gains electron from the front it loses electron when it loses electron the leaving group gains electron and that goes out peacefully but here you don't have a leaving group on the both side we have R and R are not leaving group because negative charge is not stable on R so they won't leave out as such so there is no scope of going this electron going into any anti-bonding so in this case these electron got have to go in a bonding orbital now how will that happen? We have a, now suppose this pi bond will go into the orbital of this carbon. Now when that happens, one of the carbon will have a negative charge because this bond has two electron and out of that only one electron belong to this carbon. The other one is also coming, and that other one will call will bring a negative charge with it, and this carbon will tend to have a positive charge because this carbon has been devoid of its electron that went into the orbital of this carbon now this carbon will start to gain electron which this sodium is producing now suppose this gains two electron because there will be a lot of electrons and this electron can accommodate this carbon can accommodate at, mo at, 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 ma at most two electrons when it gains one electron it forms a free radical right when it gains another electron it forms a negative charge. Now this is the situation, this is the intermediate that will be there that that would be in the reaction. Now let me draw the electrons in the orbital. Now this orbital, this P orbital will be completely filled because it can accommodate two electrons and it has two electrons and the other carbon will also be having completely filled p orbital so the situation is like this fine when we have a, this kind of situation then there will is there will be a huge amount of repulsion between these two negative charges these two negative charges right because negative charge the electron in the orbital is loosely held negative charge electron is looser than the pi bond because in the pi bond electron is attracted by two nucleus and in the negative charge the electron is attracted only by one nucleus because this negative charge is an orbital of this carbon so nucleus of only this carbon is attracting that negative charge the pi bond is between two atoms so nuclei of both the atoms attract the electron in the pi bond so this negative charge is even loose is more loose than the pi bond so it is more loose so it will cause more repulsion because it is less disciplined it will come out of the orbital electronic wave would be some percentage of it will be coming out of the orbital impinging into this orbital causing repulsion making it unstable so in this case it does it do not exist in this form when you have a negative charge when a negative charge is formed it is formed in a different orientation and that orientation is in the trans form If we keep the other or the the other p orbital on the other plane of the pi bond, then that repulsion that which is here that is no more here. 
so this this the repulsion between the orbitals has been reduced so this is the more stable form and this form do not exist right this form exists right and you have a carbon we, now finally we have a negative charge on the carbon and this is orientation in which it exists now what can happen this this is not going to accommodate any more electron and negative charge on carbon is not stable although this carbon is sp sp2 hybridized but even though sp2 hybridized carbon is not very potent to accept electrons to uh, to to entertain electrons or to keep electrons in their orbital so ultimately they have to become neutral that's the idea and you must be able to think like this you have a negative charge and ultimately this has to become neutral and the way of becoming neutral is to bond form a bond with h plus that h plus c minus form a bond ch and where that h plus would come from from the liquid ammonia that we took 